Hello, don't worry, don't panic. This isn't a voice in your head. I'm your narrator for this very short but rather confusing story. This is a story about love. But this is a story like no other. This is the story of a tall, handsome, broad, sometimes a little off-putting, man named Patchy. Wait, did he just say my name? Patchy is a very sophisticated man with talents left, right and centre. Patch is a very sophisticated man who enjoys life to the full. Damn straight. But one day he realised something very dear to him. Uh, did I? Everywhere he looked, he could see people together, enjoying themselves, laughing, having fun. So? He realised he was the only one of his kind. He had no one to be silly with, no one to have fun with. No one to be silly and fun with, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, mate, calm down. Sorry, sorry, but he had no one to love. Once he realised his love, Lauren, he locked himself in his house for hours, days, weeks, months, even years. It's just weeks, mate. Feeling so alone, until something absolutely amazing happened. Mail for Mr. Patchy. It's Patch. And then he had an idea. Wait. No, I don't. The advertisements. Oh, the advertisements. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He was going straight to that company and asked them to make him a friend or a girlfriend. All he's got to do now is act completely normal. This is it. This is what Patchy Patch. has always wanted in life. The opportunity at a new life is waiting for him at the end of this corridor. All that stands in his way now is just a big... Patchy, the handle, the handle, Patchy, man, the handle, the handle, Patchy, grab the handle, Patchy, grab the handle, get the handle, Patchy, get the handle, you've got to get the handle, the handle. Hmm, right, so what can I do for you, uh, Mr. Um, Patchy, Mr. Patchy, um, what can we do for you? Um, I was wondering if you could make a sock. Just like me. So you must have seen our flyers. We can do any really yellow, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, red, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yellow and red, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, festive mm -hmm, ones, mm -hmm, pattern ones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, anything mm -hmm, you like really. Okay, can you make one just like me? Wait. Just one? Um, yeah. Just the one. After a disappointing interview, Patchy Patch. left that office room with no more than the tears he'd held back throughout the interview. All he can think about now is the love lawn which he so desires. How nice love must feel. But that might all change. Go on, Patchy. It's now or never. Hi. She says hello back. Ask her a name. Ask her a name. What's your name? She says Elizabeth. But Patchy, he can call her Lily. Oh, oh, she said something else. She said something else. I've never seen another sock around here. 
Another sock? Huh. That's weird. I thought you were the only one. Uh, yep. I'm the only one. A sad little sock. She asks, why are you so sad? Uh, because I'm the only sock. Lily giggles to herself. She says sorry for laughing. On the topic of socks, she adds that one day she wants to knit some sort of clothing for someone but doesn't know who. Come on, ask her. Maybe you could make me a friend. She says, a friend? Yes, a friend for me, so I'm not the only sock. Well, how would I do that, she says. Well, maybe you and me can work on it together. But how would I make it look good? And more importantly, how do I make it like you? We can still try, says Lily. I mean, I know it might not work. I mean, I have no idea how to make it like you, but I can try for you. Patchy had never heard such words come out of someone's mouth. It's almost like she cared for him. If you'd like to come round my house, around eight, we can start on it if you like. Oh, and what do I call you? It's Patchy. Okay, see you at eight, Patchy, she said. And like that, she had gone. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, it's Patch. So he arrived at eight, on the dot, with plans for his possible friend. These plans aren't the best, said Lily. Well, I haven't really got opposable thumbs. Lily giggled to herself. Lily sighs out of frustration for the work she's about to indulge in. Well, I'm sure we could try. It'll be fun. Patchy nods furiously and they crack into manual labour. Could have thrown something if I told the truth. I did what I knew, knew would lead to more as it all came out. And this is it, the moment Patchy had been waiting for his entire life. And now all they did was waited for that magical moment. Maybe... He was just a one-off sock. Maybe his life was a test for the next generation to come. Or maybe the magic that made Patchy wasn't in the room that night. So Patchy sits there in the same place he was the last time for hours and days. Until something amazing happened. It's me, Lily. And it was her. The laugh, the yellow jumper, it was her. She really did become the puppet that he'd always dreamed of. So Patchy and Lily walked into the sunset and classically lived happily ever after. Will you whisper something happy? Just a Saturday to make me disappear. Uh, I am so tired of seeing love go back to what it was before. Lips had dead to me. do that to me Leave me wanting in 
the cold for golden stream. They have their minds made up by now.